What's up everyone? Welcome to Lower Manhattan. I recorded this video on Sunday, December 26th, 2021. It's about 5 o'clock p.m. And it's 44 Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius. I'll be walking on the entirety of Church Street today. Church Street is named after Trinity Church in the Financial District where Broadway and Wall Street intersect. And it, its northern boundaries are Canal Street and the southern boundary is Morris Street. We're also going to be passing two post offices along this walk. This is the Canal Street station of the U.S. Post Office. This street was in its existence as early as 1761, but it was extended in 1784. In fact, a part of the street was owned by Trinity Church, but it was given to the city in 1804. There's also a small section of Church Street known as Trinity Place, which is located between um, Cedar Street and Morris Street. Church Street is located entirely within the neighborhoods of Tribeca, which is an acronym meaning Triangle Below Canal Street and the financial district. There's a few restaurants around here as well as office buildings. I'm looking up at an interesting skyscraper there, 56 Leonard Street, otherwise known as the Jenga building. Named after the Jenga blocks. That's the game you play where you build a tall structure and then people take turns pulling out blocks. And whoever pulls out the block and makes it fall loses the game. cross over here just so we can get a better look at the Jenga building also the World Trade Center is in view as well the World Trade Center is a name given to and a certain area in lower Manhattan it consists of many different buildings the tallest of which is One World Trade Center, 1776 feet tall. It's also the tallest building in New York City. I guess this Italian restaurant is not open today. Cucina e Vino. They might be taking an extended break due to the Christmas holiday, which was just yesterday. Of course, you gotta beware of things like that in the city. People making left turns on a one way street when it's against traffic.
It's like a tag. This Jenga building is really impressive when you look at it from the bottom. Even though it's 44 degrees out right now, it definitely feels colder with the wind chill. Also, there's two subways which run underneath uh, Church Street. Well, um, technically one and then the other section um, is Trinity Place, but as I explained earlier, Trinity Place is also Church Street. It's just that one section that's uh, directly beside Trinity Church. But you have the uh, A, C, and E trains running along Church Street here. And then the um, BMT Broadway lines, the R and W, which run on the new Trinity Place. The A and C will make a left turn at Fulton Street. And the E train will continue until the um, World Trade Center area. This construction project on Wharf Street has been under construction forever. Probably a good like five years plus now. Every time I come down here, it seems like they're never done making it. But it just goes to show you how complex Manhattan's infrastructure is. This building over here is unique in that it doesn't really have any windows and quite frankly it's also hard to see at nighttime. But it is the NSA government building. So if you want to really get freaky, this is where the government does all its secret covert operations to collect tons and tons of data. Right here, the NSA office or building, I should say. Who knows what could be in this building. There's the One World Trade Center in the distance. And I think that's Seven World Trade Center in front of it. The 
a nice if office. Don't know what those acronyms mean, but New York State something. There's a smoothie place and juice bar. Down to my left is the Civic Center, which borders Tribeca. It's home to various uh, municipal buildings, including City Hall, the uh, New York State Supreme Court, the uh, Federal Court, and also the Manhattan Municipal Building. There's also the Federal Building down there. Hungry Ghost Coffee. Seems like a cozy cafe. They also advertising breakfast tacos being sold here. Here we've got Chamber Street, which is served by the A, C, and E trains with a connection to the 2, 3, R, and W. It also connects directly to the World Trade Center uh, transportation hub. And along Chamber Street, we can see the Manhattan Municipal Building off in the distance. Its official name is the uh, David Dinkins Manhattan Municipal Building. It's the largest uh, city building for the municipal employees. There's a statue on top of the municipal building called Civic Fame and the crown has five points, each one corresponding to each of New York City's five boroughs, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, and Staten Island. On the corner of Church and Warren Street, there's a chain of Los Tacos Numero Uno, which I believe to be the best tacos in Manhattan. And here's Insomnia Cookies, which is open late. Very tempting if you have a sweet tooth.
Here we've got Park Place. And I'm looking at the top of the Woolworth Building, which was formerly the tallest skyscraper in New York City. It's also very unique in that it's a neo-Gothic skyscraper. Now, remember when I was telling you there's two post offices that I'll be passing on this walk? Well, here's the second one. This is the uh, largest post office in this area, and maybe even Manhattan now, because the James Farley post office got converted to the, um, the Moynihan train hall. But this is the Church Street uh, post office. There's also another church here. This church is uh, St. Peter's Church. This is kind of neat, the 9-11 cross. It's called the Hope Cross, and this was taken out of the rubble out of New York City's Twin Towers collapse. We're going to get a great view of the World Trade Center area here. What I'm pointing the camera at now is the World Trade Center shopping mall. It's nicknamed the Oculus and it's a big transportation hub slash shopping mall. Hi! I guess this is a tour group. <laughs> All right, so over here I'm looking at the back of St. Paul's Chapel. This is the oldest religious building in Manhattan. George Washington even sat in the pews at this building of St. Paul's Chapel. It's also a part of Trinity Church. Uh, as I read, St. Paul's Chapel along with another one on Governor's Island are one of two chapels that Trinity uh, Church operates. This is the World Trade Center Station, the last stop on the E-Train. Here's the One World Trade Center building, seven World Trades to the side of it. And hopefully I don't have to mute the audio here because of copyright reasons, although I have a pretty good suspicion that I'm going to have to. So I'll just keep talking over it and maybe YouTube won't be able to recognize the song. That's the way it goes because uh, the music industry is very strict like that. And over here we have the Millennium Hilton Hotel. Very fancy hotel in this area. I like the Oculus building right now. It's all lit up in green. This structure is uh, very debatable what it looks like. Some people think it looks like a bird or an exoskeleton. But whatever it looks like, it sure costs a lot of money to build. And here is yeah, uh, oh my God. the BMT Broadway line, R and W.
oh, it said they run underneath uh, Church Street, and I said that they only run underneath Trinity Place, but I guess it's a little bit further than that here on Portland Street. To my left is the abandoned shell of the Century 21 department store. It's been vacant for over a year now, I think. This section over here is also part of the uh, World Trade Center shopping mall. The H&M and the Eataly. The Eataly is definitely worth checking out. It's a, a big Italian grocery store, but they even got a restaurant in there, a uh, pasta section, pizza, really cool. This building here is One Liberty Plaza. There's an Amazon Go um, store here, as well as Fidelity Investments. We are in the financial district now. The financial district, or FIDI, is sometimes synonymous with Wall Street. And this building here that I'm looking at is the uh, United States Realty Building. And it has a sister building next to it called the um, Trinity Building. And this park over here is Zuccotti Park. Right now it's still decorated for Christmas time. All the trees are lit in there. There's also a bunch of Christmas trees. This food cart seems to be quite popular. But there's a lot of food carts around here. This uh, U.S. Realty Building and the Trinity Building, even though I said they're sister buildings, um, they're not entirely symmetrical. But they are cool to look at. And now Cedar Street, as you see here, the name changed to Trinity Place. And right when we get to the opposite side of the uh, Trinity Building, here's the U.S. Realty Building, we'll actually see the church itself, which the street is named after. Also has a really neat sky bridge in the middle and definitely cool to look at at nighttime. These two buildings are unique in that there's no setbacks. It's completely straight up into the sky because they were erected before the setback laws were enacted. All right, 
And here we have the back side of Trinity Church. This is actually the third uh, version of the church on this um, land. The first version of the church um, was destroyed in the Great Fire. I think it was 1776. Let me just make sure if that's correct. Yes, the Great New York City Fire of 1776 that destroyed a lot of buildings. And then the second version of Trinity Church was built, but that one suffered severe damage from the weather, from winter storms, which really put damage on the roof. And so the third version of Trinity Church was built, and that's the one we see here. Also, I forgot to mention about uh, St. Paul's Chapel. This is also part of Trinity Church across the street. A modern building connected to the uh, old church across the street. And I heard this bridge was specifically erected so that these uh, people at the church here they didn't have to walk at street level across a uh, busy Trinity Place to get over there. I think over here the residences for the uh, people who work at the church, the priests and the clergy. But what I was going to say about St. Paul's Chapel, it's also nicknamed the uh, Little Chapel that stood because on September 11th, there was a piece of debris that went towards St. Paul's Chapel and luckily a sycamore tree stopped the impact of that debris and it completely preserved the church, the, um, the parish. There was no damage done to the chapel at all. Also Trinity Church was very monumental in the uh, rescue efforts of September 11th and provided a place of refuge for many people here. And uh, Wall Street begins just one block down there. For those people who uh, work down here, they'll often get off at this subway station here, the Rector Street Station. almost to the end of this video because uh, Church Street slash Trinity Place is ending soon. This is Exchange Alley. You can see an old picture of uh, Exchange Alley up there. A financial district full of history. Home to many different um, exchanges. The most famous being the New York Stock Exchange. I think there's also the, uh, the NYMEX, the New York Mercantile Exchange that was started here. Here we are at Morris Street. The street does curve down there, but 
It's known as uh, Greenwich Street there. And that only continues for a few more blocks to Battery Park. But I really hope you enjoyed this walking tour of Trinity Place slash Church Street, which again, Trinity Church was very influential in, uh, influential in. Hope you learned something. Smash the like button for me if you did. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.